Where did it go? This one right here. trip in put a bag in the trash can See what this video is doing. So my video is done uploading to YouTube. I got that out the way. So, so far, y'all should see a video every day this week. Today that I'm recording this, it is Sunday, November the 5th, 532 AM. I'm getting ready to go out here, pop this hood, make sure everything Look the way everything's supposed to look up under here and we about to head to Beardstown Illinois Norman if you watching this video this JBS where I'm going to it is that exact same place where we had to wait 16 hours luckily Prime sent me a message and said shipper notified us that the trailer is loaded and it is ready so I'm glad it is ready. Once I get over there, I can pick it up and head to Chicago. Right back to Chicago um, at this O2 because I think this is a three stop. I can park there. They do have overnight parking, so I ain't got to worry about trying to find a truck stop. But let's get this pre trip. Go ahead and get me a paper towel. a bottle I think it was a below freezing windshield but uh, I didn't use that all because I use a lot of it 
to clean my um windshield off while driving. Hmm, we'll just get this. Go ahead and give me some coffee while I'm in here. How you doing? Good. How are you? Pretty good. Do you have a rewards card? Yes, ma'am. Do you want to use your five uh, forty-nine or save it? Nah, ma'am. Save it. Save it up to buy something big. There you go. Rainy day. Thank you. I get it. And I don't know if you knew, but like you, it'll tell you like. What you have, like your diamond status, you got 4126, so. Yes, ma'am. You're good. Thank you. You're welcome. You have a nice day. You too. Be safe out there. truck start warming up then I'm about to go back there and check the trailer and my fifth wheel and everything else some oranges put my re other receipts up keep them business receipts put up in here I remember the routine from the last time I came you go in you go straight to the trailer wash out. And then go inside, check in, then come come out and park your trailer over here. Wherever they got an empty spot at.
Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to come up on that. That's a little better. Oh, I'm gonna be trying to get in. Hopefully, I ain't hitting this cone back there. All right, cool. I'm gonna walk around it. You doing? Good. You gotta slide your tandems all the way back first. All right. Thank you. Uh huh. <sighs> Let's go try and find a spot. Remember the last time I was here, I had to make a spot. So while doing my trailer inspection, I discovered some extra air noises. You know, it's normal. Look at me, I didn't got dirty. It's normal whenever the bag is building up, but and my hoses over here. Where did it go? This one right here. Dirty. This one right here, I found it down here. Down there at the bottom. Oh yeah. You got like a, maybe one of the other drivers do. Yeah, one of the super trucks that'll come by. Yeah. All right, I was just seeing if I could help. Thank you. Yeah, you be safe. <sighs> so I got my little toolbox. We're about to try something. I already messaged Rhoda sis, sent them a picture. Oh, 
So I just tried to tighten the fitting up, but I got all the way up under there and it's like a cut in the hose. So I'm gonna just wait on road side assist. I did my little part, but this ain't my equipment. Yeah, it's something about this JBS and my experiences never work out. I thought everything was gonna be good because the trailer was ready early, but I ain't gonna stress over it. I'm about to um make it to this Walmart. It's like a half a mile down the road. So I could be off the side of that road. That felt like my old truck about to flip over the way it was leaning over on the side. So we made it to Walmart. Road assist still ain't messaged me back. I messaged them like it was a good I say 20, 25 minutes ago. I'm gonna park right up in these lanes right here. they ain't got strict on their truck parking but usually the last time I was here they let you stay until the truck well until the store is closed and then that's when you have to come out and leave it's a real small town so y'all know them small towns Days a lot of them not trucker friendly. They think that all truck drivers are nasty, dirty, criminals, drug addicts. I think I'm good right here. Let me see if I could try to show y'all. I'm gonna have to close that blind. Let me close this blind real quick so y'all can see like how quick it's losing pressure. I'll close this curtain. There we go, y'all should be able to see. just cut the truck off maybe like 10 10 minutes ago no more than 10 minutes but then right there is what it's doing so i'm sitting here like going over my trip planning and i can hear the air coming from the trailer air supply and it just popped out on its own and like i could feel that the trailer went down so let's go see what's going on the airbags deflating yeah I think so yeah cause the trailer is dragging on the ground well it's dragging But uh, Road Assist just called me back. Actually, they're going to be here within, I think he said, an hour to an hour and 30. Hey, how you doing? Good, how you doing, there? I'm doing pretty good. The problem is, with what I do. <laughs> and you see it's dragging. Since it was losing pressure, it's done pop the air brake out up there. And it's this it's this bag right here. 
once that bottom holes right there, I'm thinking it's got a cut in it because it's steady like leaking air. Well, put the air back to me. All right. So I can see where it's coming from. They told me it had. Is it when you put the brakes on? Yeah. Uh -huh. it's, it's building up the pressure now. Yeah. I just got to let it run to build up the pressure. cranking it y'all seen before what, would, what it was doing it had dumped all the air out but we're gonna let it build up and see if it's still leaking any the weekend and by the time I get over there it'll be night time so hopefully it'll be a little better. Be calmed down. Yeah. I ain't never been there when the traffic's been. Man, I just come from there the day before yesterday. Oh really? Now I'm headed right back. And then Wisconsin. To West Chicago or West Home? After I leave Chicago going to Wisconsin. Going to West Home. Yeah. So what could I have done to fix it? Nothing. Nothing? Ain't nothing yeah. Unless you carry a spare fit and get some tools. Nah. <laughs> Ain't nothing you could have done. They should have fixed it when it was rolled up. They said it was so rolled up. So it was rolled up? That's what the guy told me. That told me. He said it was rolled up a couple months ago. Months? Wow. That it was leaking a couple months ago. Well. Yep. Don't hear no air. No. Good now. Thanks. Okay, sorry it took me so long to get here. Hey, no, man, this it is fine. Mm -hmm. I'm probably gonna stay here a little bit until it gets a little darker and then hit the road. All right. I just gotta be gone before they close. You know, kick me out anyway. Yeah, they, you can't spend the night here. Can you? Uh -huh. I didn't think so. Mm -hmm. You can park here, but you just can't spend the night. Yep. <laughs> but y'all don't understand whenever there's no. Yeah, what's the matter? Yeah. What's the matter? Parking here now, <laughs> or uh, there's gonna be no customers. Yeah. I don't understand that. that. I was working on one one night, and they came out, the manager, and said, are you going to have this done tonight? And I said, plan on it. And he goes, okay, if not, we may have to make different arrangements. I said, well, what are you going to do? And he goes, well, we may have to get towed. And I said, he's broke down. Right. We're trying to fix it. He goes, not allowed on the lot after hours. or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, this problem was already written up, he said, months ago, and they ain't get it fixed. I don't think he meant to say months ago. Ain't no way that trailer been sitting there for no months. Well, I don't know. He said they had reported that it had been leaking, so I guess it finally just broke. So, whoever been having trailer 201228, thank you. Thank you for the breakdown. So, I'm getting ready to pull off. I'm going to do another little pre-trip on this trailer, make sure everything is good. 
check again to see if I hear any air leaking. I gotta remember to stop and get fuel. I don't hear nothing. All the lights. All right, now Prime. Let's have a good finished trip. About to head to this O2. And then to the 90. Somebody said something about my airlines look like they was scrubbing the catwalk. It's, I record on a super wide, well, let me get in the truck and talk to y'all. So some things in my video will look wider and some things will look smaller. Like whenever I was at that, I was at somewhere where I was skeptical about should I blindside or just turn around. On video, the space looked extra wide, but in person, it was more closer. But back there, it sort of looks like my airline is dragging the catwalk sometimes, but it's because of my the lens. I record in a super wide angle, so everything looks wider the closer it is, but the further back it is, it goes smaller. I just stopped here at the Lowe's and took me a quick shower because I'm going to be staying at the O2 tonight and I'm like an hour away from it. So I don't know if the guy is in training, but it's another dude on the outside. He's spotting him. Security rolls up real quick, yelling at him, just telling him what to do. I know he frustrated. He got that dude over there yelling at him. Then he got the dude that's with him telling him what to do. Top flight security right here. I'm glad he was all the way down there doing something else whenever I came in. Now, a dude did come up to my window and tell me to move. I actually had to move twice. Y'all, I'm not sure how long this video is, but I think I'm going to end it off right here. I can go ahead and do a little quick editing before I go to bed and definitely clean 
up so i will see y'all on the next video and thank y'all for watching and supporting make sure y'all like comment and subscribe